Well, this evening's taken a bit of a turn, hasn't it, honey? Yeah, we were going to come home with a bucket of KFC because we've been... I, well, I have been driving all day. Steve's been a passenger for half of it. Um, <laughs> and rather than do KFC, our lovely friend Stephen, who you've seen... You've seen some of the things he's, he's helped us introduce to you in the past. Um, Stephen got in touch and said, I've got a friend over. <laughs> <laughs> we want to come and cook for you. <laughs> I'm not going to say you, no to that. Exactly. So Stephen technically is one of our neighbours, but he also looks after lots of big brands. And the kind of brands he looks after are Meter, the, the meat probes that we've, we've told you about before. Garmin, Fitbit. Uh, you guys did Fire Mill as well. Yes. Fire Mill, yeah. Fire Mill, yeah. right. Fire yes. Distributed Fire Mill. And ring doorbells. And ring. Yep. And ring. And we've even got a ring doorbell on our motorhome. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Which is as much about security as anything. Um, so Stephen's brought his friend Corbin over. Why have you brought him? Well, Corbin is the global master chef for a brand that we've taken on board and about to launch in the UK called Blackstone. It's America's number one selling barbecue brand. Uh, and they're specialists in the griddle category. So you kind of know those grills, the traditional barbecues that is a grill, where you kind of put stuff on it can fall through. It's got ridges or right. it's got holes. And the great thing about Blackstone is it's a solid griddle. Plate, like a flat plate. Which means you can cook absolutely anything on it. Yep. That means like, I'm talking fried rice, steamed broccoli, wow. and all the staples that you normally cook from sausage, eggs, bacon, all that stuff that you normally cook on a standard grill, you can cook on a Blackstone. The beauty of what's coming now is the smell that you guys can't see. Right, <laughs> and that's coming from this bacon that he's got over here. It's Look at that. Bacon. Oh, that smells yeah. awesome. It, it does and smell really good. And part, of what, and part of what we're doing now is starting the, this is the very beginning. So you're only the, the second, well, when did we start? We started, we launched the Blackstone Barbecue School on Saturday, uh, which is an ex the only black, the only barbecue brand to have its own school in the UK, uh, where you can book sessions and go and learn how to cook. But you guys have kind of got a VIP treatment because you are neighbors after all. Right. Uh, and we just, and we just brought Corbin <laughs> and in. And you brought Corbin in. Yep. Uh, he's to give us a one-on-one -on -one for yep. the food. Happy so. to be here, honestly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've been flying him with, uh, with wine and whiskey and- yeah. uh, Everything I need. Need, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now it's kind of the first stage of bringing the brand to life in the UK. Brilliant. And we'll do so many things this year. I think we've got 60 festivals, events, and cook-ups that we're already booked in. And then wow. we've got the cooking school that's already open. And then you'll find us in all independent barbecue retailers across the UK. Okay. And then next year, it'll be really big. Just to give you guys some idea, this brand sells a billion dollars in the US alone. Wow. So, let's get ready to cook. Wow, and uh, this is the, what he's brought tonight. This is the new E-Series. It's a 17-inch um, griddle thing, really, isn't it? Electric griddle? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I've wanted to see one of these for a while, you know. And the hardest thing I've seen about these is I've seen the next morning it's a pain to clean this uh, this plate here. So it's got the rear grease management system, and so you just, you know, you give it a little bit of water and it steams everything off. You get a paper towel, you wipe it all into that edge, the top's clean. You right. don't need to worry about it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take the back little grease container, you dump it, you can put the whole thing in the dishwasher, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. a game changer. And this is just the electric version that is also a gas version as well, which I think might be a bit more portable. But I'm thinking this electric version will work really well in the motorhome with our big battery pack. Oh, in a motorhome? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So Corbin went on to mix in some eggs with the bacon and then some sliced potatoes. He squirted in a little bit of oil and cooked them all up. Chili cheese mix, I didn't know that existed. Yeah, neither did I, um, but I'm really <laughs> excited to use it because my thing is whenever I'm making quesadillas, I want a little bit of spice or like a little yeah. bit of like kick. Now I don't have to add it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the win, I know. <laughs> I love it that we're having quesadillas. Ques quesadillas? Quesadillas? Yeah. Yeah. In our house, we call them pesky dinners. And we have since, the kids were, uh, since Eddie and his friend Jacob went swimming, <laughs> they would have pesky dinners after swimming lessons together when they were about five. But they're actually called quesadillas. Uh, quesadillas. Quesadillas. Yeah, quesadilla. Yeah. Quesadilla. A lot of people call them quesadillas, 
because that's how it's spelled. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a Spanish word. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Pesky so not, dinners. Pesky yeah. dinners. I kind of like that a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute, out. isn't it? Yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He then laid down the tortilla, sprinkled it with grated cheese, and loaded up the bacon, eggs, and potatoes. In my, my pesky dinners, it was tomato puree, cheese, and if we had some ham or whatever else we had in the fridge, I just chuck it in and hope for the best. <laughs> Corbin then sprinkled a little more cheese on top, covered it with another tortilla, pushed it all down firm and give it a flip over. So is there somewhere in the States that you've been to that has completely influenced your barbecue cooking? Is there somewhere that you go, oh, well, Texas is the only place you can do I don't know. I don't yeah, know. no, that's fair. Yeah. Um, honestly, Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> so not in the States. Not in the States. Okay. Not in the States. So where, yeah, where yeah and so like a lot of a lot of flat top cooking is done in Mexico. And a lot of the time it's open flame with a, just a piece of metal, a sheet metal over the top. And carbonic. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, and they'll make tacos. They'll make... Burritos, they'll make like stir fries because they just can, you know, yeah. they have the ability to and that kind of opened my mind to the ability of like, oh, it's not just American food, right? And so that kind of opened my mind to making fried rice, to making curries, to yeah. making really everything you can that requires, you know, cooking and meat or vegetables in a sauce. And let's be honest guys, what was our favorite food when we went to America? The Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. No, we enjoyed the steaks as well. Right. Yeah, but it was. Quick. The little Mexican truck was your favorite, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I bet, I bet it was just, you know, tortilla, meat, fresh onion, fresh oh, coriander. Even, yeah. Um, fish as well. Oh, oh fish tacos. Fish tacos with the, the cabbage. Oh. oh, and like the cream sauce. Mm -hmm. It's a game changer mm -hmm. for sure. Right. Corbin opened up the tortilla to make sure the cheese was melted and plonked it on a plate. Just Honey, this looks nothing like your pesky dinners. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, tomato puree and cheese? <laughs> Not enough? He then took a pizza cutter and cut it into slices and served it up. Mm. How's the pesky dinners? It's good. The, um, oh, the chili, oh, the chili cheese has got a kick. That's interesting. Are the potatoes a little crispy too? A little bit, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah definitely. Corbin then went on to make another pescadilla. So what are we doing here? So I'm gonna be taking this cheese right here and putting it on that and showing that it kind of just sticks to it and shows the non-stick ability, being able to give it that crispy cheese aspect. Awesome. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, look at that sliding around on the non-stick yep. surface, huh? Isn't that a dream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. This is the one. Yeah. <laughs> Get this. Hopefully the cheese should be nice and crispy by this point. So the best part about kind of this griddle specifically is the non-stick and all of the stuff that would usually be stuck to it because it's cheese, you know, bits right. of tortilla, sometimes even a pain to clean. Yeah, and, and the fat too, but it's literally just comes off. Like it looks like a brand new unit once you just get it off because it gets so hot and non-stick that it just kind of you know, removes itself. And so the cleaning aspect of it is just like a no-brainer. And you just scrape it back through there and yep. it's got a little catch tray in the yep. back. It's got a little tray back there. And after that, you're ready for your next meal. Perfect. Fantastic. Harry? Look at that. Done. Done. So I'll be laying down asparagus here. Get these all separated here. Oh. What we're going to do here is we're just going to lay down water and steam them and close the hood. when you was on a podcast earlier in the motorhome what was that about uh, i was kind of just like telling people about like kind of the importance of blackstone and how the kind of the struggles i faced of coming into new markets and moving to europe and asking like they asked me a lot of questions like what if people you know love their grills and they have this co like collection in their backyard and they're worried about like oh no like i don't want to get rid of everything because this does everything and like which is also funny because like well, sorry, but yeah, it does do everything. <laughs> but also, you don't need to get rid of everything. Like, it's also complimentary, which was nice to be able to tell them that you can smoke a piece of meat and sear it on a black stone. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, it was really good to kind of give them that clarity of why the black stone is so popular when it comes to versatility. And, I mean, one of the biggest things about black stone is you can cook everything you can do on a traditional grill and a thousand things you can. Right. And so, you're doing fried rice, you're doing 
like stir fry, you're doing tacos, you're doing everything like that. And that was one of the bigger things that they were like, wow, okay, so the entire kitchen's outside. Like, <laughs> That's our goal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How is it, guys? This man helped my kids eat veggies. <laughs> That's no ordinary vegetables, that is asparagus, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. The ends of it are woody, as asparagus is, but I just want to suck it. Oh no, it isn't tastes it good? so good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Corbin got out a block of butter to grease up the grill. He then added some mushrooms and sprinkled on some herbs, cooking the mushrooms before placing them aside and melting a little more butter on the grill and adding three juicy steaks. One job that George wants at some point is to run his own tea shop with lots of different tea blends and cakes and things, don't you? That's actually a cool idea, yeah. He opened the grill and moved the steaks aside. He melted a little more butter, chopped some rosemary and sprinkled them in the melted butter. The smell when they were cooking was just amazing. I have a theory about van life utensils and you can never have too many pairs of tongs because they disappear and we just have to have lots of tongs and just flipping everything by tongs. He's using his fingers and I'm just not built quite that chefy fingers. -ish. It's okay. I mean, I was a chef for five years. My fingers are all numb. Yeah. <laughs> No, if, no, they, no. if they burn, yeah. it may hurt, but I don't know. So it's okay. <laughs> Corbin scooped out the meat, placed them on the chopping board and sliced it up. The steak was cooked to perfection. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. My meat tells me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Changed the game, didn't it? Changed the game. <laughs> he then scooped out the mushrooms and plated them up. Everything Corbin has cooked for us tonight was amazing. Oh, it's a delicious mushroom. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. What what a birthday treat for Harry. <laughs> it's his birthday tomorrow. I don't think it was what we planned at all. But this was amazing. Really delicious. And the, I think my favourite was the asparagus, actually. Yeah, because it so surprised good. you, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so yeah. tasty. It so. was all good, that steak and mushrooms at the end, though. Come on. Yeah, oh. the mushrooms with the red wine, that's the best part. It's like, you can't put red wine on mushrooms on a grill. <laughs> <laughs> it's but very good. Thank you so much, Paul. Of course. Happy to be here. Happy to show you guys an amazing product. We'll put a link in the description for this one, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, man. Happy birthday to my four-year-old trapped in a 16-year-old's body. <laughs> we love you, guys. Happy birthday.